Hey y'all, this is Lucy and my blog is Paper Glitter Glue and I wanted to show you how to make this cool little gift box, this gnome gift box. You can use it as a treat box. You can put a gift card inside. You can put a few treats inside. So this is the felt version. I just learned how to cut felt on my Cricut Maker. So I made one with felt. And then I made several other versions with just cardstock. So this is the gnome gift box for the little miniature gnome gift box for the gnome takeover event. Okay, so let me kind of show you how the design evolved. This is my first gnome. I thought I would make a skinny one, but then I thought if I'm going to make a gift box, that is a tiny gift box. So I rejected that one. Here is the next one. It kind of looks like one of the SpongeBob characters. That one is too big. The other one's too small. And this one is just right. So at first I made it with just one. That's very flexible. And I decided to make it a little more sturdy, so I glued two together. So when you cut it out, I cut out four of these. And then, so that is the final shape for the gnome. And here is the first version, first prototype that I've completed. Okay, so I wanted to make it kind of like a box where, where the, the lid fits inside, and it works. But it's, it's actually kind of hard to make, and it's really loose. And so then I decided to make these holes and put and tie it up, but it looks silly tying the belt above his beard. So then, so I rejected that idea, even though you can, you can like belt it below, don't use the holes, but I, I, did, I just didn't like that idea. So that was the first prototype that I completed. And this is the second prototype, and I like this version. I also changed the mittens. I added a thumb because, you know, mittens need a thumb. And so here is the, here is the box, and I put little half uh, Velcro dots to do that, to hold the box together. And so that is basically the design. It's very similar to one of my final designs, this one. So it's a gift card. Alrighty, so let's get started. So the first thing, the, the hardest part, is actually gluing the box piece on. This is the way the box piece looks before it's folded. These are the sides. This one goes at the bottom. These are the two longer sides. And then this is the lid. And I'll show you here. I've folded, kind of pre-folded this one. So it goes like this. And to make sure I, I lined it up right, on my gnome, gnome base, I drew a line, kind of a bottom line, right above where the boots go, and a side one right where that hole is. So basically, what we do is cover it with my favorite glue, a very thick glue. Uh, I call it, it's um, Aileen's Fast Grab Tacky Glue. It's very thick, a little bit hard to get it out but it really does hold and you don't have to work so hard to hold it in place so that it, it, it attaches to whatever you're trying to glue it to. I really like Fast Grab. It's good stuff. So I'll cover it there. Make sure we get the edges. And if you can even wait a minute just to let the tack set up, let it get even more sticky, your life will be even easier. It's not usually what I do. I usually can't wait. So that is the bottom piece. Let's see if I can line it up properly. It's a little bit hard. Okay, so, so I got it down just above the boot and just inside of the armhole. Then I'm going to open it up and squish it down. Kind of squish it down. Just wait a minute. So you can see. And then you have to check because you know how stuff does. It shifts. So I'm going to scooch it up. Scooch it up and over. Usually migrate so that it's narrower at the top. I don't know why I do that. 
And if I had my favorite tape, my painter's tape here, I would put some pieces here and hold it so I don't have to be the holder. I'm not a very patient person for the most part. I am when I'm painting stuff, but not so much for this. Not for waiting for glue to dry. Okay, so it's actually holding pretty good. And then I'm going to show you how to make the V part. I believe you need this because the um, because without it, the gnome's hat doesn't have much support, and over time it'll get broken. It'll it'll break down here and and you know kind of get a crease in it. So I like the V shape, and I designed it with these little tabs, and it and I fit it in. I try to make it so that it doesn't show on the edge. So sometimes you have to finagle a little bit. And on this one, I decided to paint it red just so the gift box, I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I like it the white or the red better. But anyway, you get to choose. All right, so let's do the glue here. Open it up again. And glue the little V shaped. I'm not blocking. I am blocking. This is the support for the hat. And then after this, I'll show you how to dress your little gnome. So I got together with some of my blogging buddies, and we're all doing gnome projects. I think it's called the Great Gnome Takeover. And so there will be a total of six of us making gnome projects for Christmas or holidays, hostess gifts, you know, whatever. Really, gnomes can be wintertime. You could use different colors, use them for even Halloween, Thanksgiving. And the glue on these tabs goes on the outside. Showing you right. Okay, put it down, put it in place, get those, get those tabs, push it down, try to make sure it doesn't. hang over the edge of your gnome. And this one's a little close, but I can squish it down a little bit. Okay, I think we're good. Let's see, where is my, oh, here's my gift card. Make sure my gift card fits. Yep, it's gonna fit. So that's the main part of the, the box itself. Now, I got these Velcro dots. I found them at just a craft store. And they come like this, and they've got sticky on them. I don't really trust the sticky, so I add more. Fast grab. Can't go wrong. And put it down. And I use two dots. Fast grab. It's just kind of reinforcing it. Then I actually let it dry before I put the other one on because if you like test it right now, it'll pull it off. So I wait a few minutes and then I'll pull this down and I'll put them in the right place. All right, so next let's do the top of the gnome. Let me find a double one. Okay, so you could prime it, paint it, paint the edge and stuff. I did that on the felt one because when I cut the felt, it shrank a little bit. Um, it contracted just a little bit, so that's one reason I painted this one red. Okay, so to dress your gnome, kind of like the way people dress, first you put your pants on. 
that's the lowest level. That's the everything else, the, the boots and the sweater cover up the shorts. So the shorts go first and I'll show you and I'll show you where the landmarks are for the for the shorts. Landmarks. So basically you match that corner to to right where this crease is. And those are his pants. Mr. Gnome's pants. Press that down. And next, I don't know, you can do it like you dress. So next we'll put on a sweater on Mr. Gnome. A little gnome. You don't need to use this glue. This is actually kind of overkill for this. You could use a thinner glue. Uh, the other one I like is quick dry. And then another one that's really nice is art glitter glue. And or Tim Holtz collage medium. You see, so the bottom of the sweater overlaps the top of the pants. So you put your sweater on. You put your pants on, you put your sweater on. Now, you put your boots on. Put your little boots on. See, that one's got a white mark on it. Let's do this one. And they overlap the pants. And put our boots on. To make sure there are no kitty hairs there. You know I have this goofy cat, Bill. He jumps up in my light box. I'm like, really, Bill? Okay, so there he's got his boots on. He's got his pants, his boots. Hmm, let's do... The beard goes next because the hat overlaps the beard. So, so, so you put your clothes on, you comb your hair or your beard. And then you put your hat and your mittens on. That's kind of the order. That's the order I do it. You can you can modify things a little bit. Okay, so the beard matches up right at the top of the sweater. And so we can put hat and mittens on. Let's see this is which way. a little bit glue because cardstock sticks easy you know a lot of what I glue are cardboard when I make little houses so cardstock's like a dream compared to my little houses okay and there's the hat and then we got some mittens thumb up thumb up for the mittens I found the mitten. Get the glue, glue blobs. Next mitten. Okay, that's the book. That's most of the gnome. Okay, the next two things are the nose and the little pom pom on top of the. Um, on top of the gnome's hat. Now, if you're going to glue the, the gnome to your box, it's actually easier to probably glue it before you do that, before you add the balls, because if you have to, you can turn it upside down to add a little pressure, which you cannot do if you've got the little balls there, the little pom-poms in place, so you might want to wait. And then just glue it in place and then glue the pom-poms and that's your little, that is your little gnome.